Hello everyone, my name is Emma Katona. I use she, her pronouns, and I go to Lesley University where I'm studying psychology and expressive arts therapy. I'm 19 years old and it's my second year here and it has gone amazing and very passionate about what I do and very excited to start this internship and meet everyone in person. Um, I really dislike the constraints of a screen. Um, yes, I'm very expressive and I love to be in a space where I can be around people, interact with them, and not like looking at myself like this. Um, not very used to it, but um, I am excited to meet everyone and meet um, all the kids and all the people that work there. Um, my passions are one-on-one -on -one interactions. Um, I am a psychology major, so I love listening to people, hearing about their stories, diving deep into that, and um, just learning about who they are as a person is really fascinating to me, and I love listening. And I'm very passionate about music therapy and art therapy and poetry, which are all forms of expressive therapies. Um, there's about, there's so many branches in expressive therapies. Um, so it's mainly like visual arts, music, writing, um, psychodrama. There's more, but I can't even think about it right now. But I know people do pottery as a form of a therapy. It's just whatever is an expressive outlet. Outlet, and that kind of leads me to my second point. Um, I want to define what expressive therapy um, is to me. Um, and I say that it is an outlet that allows your creativity to run loose and without the constraints of it being good or bad. We're always graded. We always get an A, B, C, D, F on our writing, on our art, on our singing, on our music talent. Um, and expressive therapies is just absolutely not going to grade you for how good or how bad you are or if you don't hit that note properly or if your art's just not good enough it's just an outlet a place to let everything run loose um and i say it's a way to release tension or energy that just wants to be recognized and um acknowledged and put out in some form because if we hide all of that tension and energy, it sticks with us and um, it, can, it can decay your emotions and your physical being. So it's a good form to let it out, release it. And what I like to say that it is your own expressive freedom. No one's gonna tell you what to do. Um, I mean, there are activities that we like to do and that's how I'm gonna lead it, but it's more so just you, I give you a prompt and you run free. Um, and that's what I'm gonna be doing today. I'm gonna incorporate some music and art today. And those are my two like favorite things. Um, and I know a lot of people watching right now love music, um, love beat making, love creating music, like creating poetry for music, which is, Rap, hip hop is poetry, lyricism is poetry, it's writing, it's creative writing, um, and it is a form of expressive therapy. Um, I just want to val validate that. Um, and I'll lead you into activities. So, right now we're going to be putting music towards art. And through that, I'm going to be playing some music um, and you're going to need a notebook anything you want plain paper anything literally I could not care less what you have in front of you and you're gonna need some colored material um, it can be markers it can be pencils it can be crayons um, whatever you have in front of you, you just need colors. 
Um, all right, so how this is gonna go is I'm going to be playing 10 seconds of a song, just the beginning of a song. And what you're going to do is you're going to close your eyes and really let this song sink in to your soul, which sounds corny, but just allow it to happen. Um, and what you're gonna do is you're going to open your eyes after the 10 seconds and you're going to pick a color that pops up in your mind when you just hear the first 10 seconds. You're going to pick that color and I'm gonna play about a minute and a half of the song after that. And you're gonna close your eyes and you're just gonna let your hand roam across the paper. You're not gonna think about it. You're just gonna let it happen. Let your mind pause and let your body do the working. Um, so yeah, so that's gonna happen for four different songs that I'm going to play. And after that, we're going to pick up our piece and it's gonna have a bunch of different colors and a bunch of different shapes, whatever it can be, whatever you want. And we're gonna talk about and point to each color and how you felt um, creating it and what you experienced creating it. And did it make you feel good? Did it make you feel bad? Um, anxious, calm? and why you chose that color. Um, and yeah, you're just gonna dive into that. And um, then at the end, you're going to name your piece and you're gonna, with black Sharpie, right in the middle, put the name right on the piece. And it's your form of art. Now let's start. All right, so once you've grabbed your materials, um, I'd like everyone to calm down and center yourself for this activity. So I'm going to play the first 10 seconds of a song and close your eyes. All right, open and you're going to look for a color. that made you that popped up in your mind. All right, now I'm gonna close my eyes and everyone's gonna close their eyes and I'm gonna continue playing this song and you're just gonna put whatever you have on the page and just let your hand roam. It's gonna look weird, but it's whatever. All right, now again, close your eyes, and we're gonna move on to the next song. All right, open your eyes, and you're gonna pick out another color. Close your eyes again and let your hand run loose.
beautiful. All right, close your eyes again. Ten seconds. open. Now pick out the color and close your eyes again and let your hand run loose. Last song. All right, close your eyes for 10 seconds. Open and pick out your color. And now I'm gonna play the song and let your hand run loose. Take a look at your piece. Interesting, right? It's a bit odd looking, but you know, it feels good. All right, and now you're gonna grab a sharp, Sharpie, big marker, whatever you have, and you're going to name your piece. Um, and just take a second to think about it, but name my piece and write it right in the middle. Um, this piece and what it means to me. So I, I don't know if it's going to be flipped over because of how the screen works, but I chose free. And it looks like a kid drew this, but that's okay. And the first song, I used red. And it's red is a color that signifies anger for me and frustration. And I kind of went zigzag crazy, let it all out. Um, and then the second song I chose, you kind of can't see it, but it's like a light pink, um, purple color. And I chose like a serenity color, calm, peaceful. Um, and then the third song I chose yellow. And I did like little bounces, whatever, but <laughs> it just, um, reminds me of happiness and, um, spring and like um just like the electric feeling of happiness all right and then we're gonna go to the last one and i chose blue and i did little teardrops coming from the side because it made me feel sad nostalgic um emotional which is so valid and my name for this is free I felt very free making this. Um, it didn't matter what I put on the paper um, or how good it was gonna look, but it felt very common and it felt very free. 
And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn the table to whoever's viewing this and we're going to talk about you. Um, and you can also, I know no one can really like talk back to me right now, but you can like comment it um, right in the chat. So I want to learn more about you and um, I'm going to list off emotions and you're going to put one of whatever song you can think of that goes along with this emotion for you. It's personal to you. It might not register for some people, but it's just personal for you. And um, all right, the first one is a song that makes you sad. And why does it make you feel sad? And the second one is a song that makes you energetic. And why does it make you energetic? And describe the beats, the rhythms, um, the music, the lyrics, and how it makes you energetic. And a song that makes you angry. And why does it make you angry and frustrated? And for a song that makes you calm and why? And I'm gonna pick mine right now so I can give you examples. I can't play it because YouTube will take it down if I play a, like a clip of a song. Um, so my first one, and if you want to look these up on your own time, that is so valid. Um, I love that. Um, the first song is a song that makes me sad, and it's called Lost With You by Patrick Watson, and it's a beautiful piano piece. The second song is a song that makes you energetic, and it's People Every Day by Arrested Development. I love that song. And then a song that makes you angry is Jail by Kanye West. It's definitely like a powerful song and it definitely gets my frustration and rage out. And a song that makes you calm and it's called Deuce e Amor by Gal Costa. It's a Portuguese Brazilian song and it just has the best beat and rhythm and everything about that. So yeah, um, write down yours. Um, I so appreciate that. And even if you like stayed to the end, I appreciate that even more. But yeah, it was so nice doing this activity. Um, I can't wait to see everyone in person. I'm so excited for that. And we can do some more hands-on stuff. But yeah, this is just an introduction and an intro to expressive therapies. And I hope you liked it. Have a good one.